NBA picks and player props for Friday. It's December 6th. I'm My Guy Knows a Guy here on my sports betting predictions channel. Let's get to my picks. My free NBA picks went one and two here on the channel yesterday. That's two losing days in a row. Things were actually going well for me in the NBA up until about two days ago. Let's get back on track tonight. We have a long season ahead of us here in the NBA. Remember, Never bet more than you can afford to lose. Here are my picks for today. My first pick comes in the game between the LA Lakers and the Atlanta Hawks tonight. I'm betting on the LA Lakers plus five and a half at minus 110 odds to win one unit. These are two teams in the Lakers and the Hawks that are trending in completely different directions right now. But I firmly believe that this is an overreaction by the odds makers with this five and a half point line for the Atlanta Hawks. My next pick comes in the game between the Boston Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm betting on Damian Lillard under 23 and a half points at minus 105 odds to win one unit. I'm going a bit against the grain with this pick here, but I think the defensive backcourt of Drew Holiday and Derek White will cause problems for Damian Lillard tonight. My next pick comes in the game tonight between the Orlando Magic and the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm betting on Tyrese Maxey over 23 and a half points at minus 110 odds to win one unit. Maxey struggled the other night with Paul George out of the lineup against the Magic. But in tonight's rematch with Paul George back on the court, I think that will open up a bit of space for Maxey to get to his spots. It was much easier for the Magic to throw the kitchen sink at Maxey defensively in their last game. And I just don't think it'll be that easy for Orlando tonight. My next pick comes in the game between the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Golden State Warriors. I'm betting on Anthony Edwards over 24 and a half points at minus 110 odds to win one unit. I'm running it back with Ant-Man here. I bet on him to go over his points prop total in his last game against the Clippers. He finished the game with 16 points as he didn't play in the entire fourth quarter because the Timberwolves went up by 40 points. Anthony Edwards has gone over this line in 70% of his road games this season, and he has a decent track record against the Golden State Warriors. Look for a much more aggressive Anthony Edwards tonight against the Warriors. My last pick is also in the game I mentioned earlier between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Boston Celtics. I'm betting on Derek White to go over 16 and a half points at minus 104 odds to win one unit. When Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are both in the lineup, Derek White has gone over this line of 16 and a half points in 73% of his games this season. It's difficult to game plan for a player like Derek White when his superstar teammates are in the lineup. His skill set really does match up well against the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks have allowed opposing starting guards to shoot lights out from the perimeter. Subscribe to my channel now, hit the like button for me, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming sports predictions videos. It's My Guy Knows a Guy here on my sports betting channel. Best of luck with all of your your NBA plays tonight. I'll see you next time.